Good afternoon, and uh, you know it's after Thanksgiving, and and looking forward to our Christmas in here. And we've talked about the cash markets a lot recently here, and how we expect cash basis almost to firm as we move into the end of the year as this crop is put away. But the other thing we need to take a look at is is where where are the U.S. markets compared to the world, and there's a couple things to look at here. One is where we're at on the cash price, and then the other is let's compare futures as well. Well, what we are doing right in front of us here is looking at the cash prices at New Orleans on, on corn, beans, and soft red winter wheat. And you can see on corn right now, U.S. corn is a little over $9 a bushel. And then we have just below that where the, the Ukraine corn is offered at, which is the cheapest in the world. That's at six fifty five. That's why our export sales have been non-existent. We're getting some traditional customers in here, specifically to Mexico on some corn based off of uh, logistics and, and cheaper transportation. But this is the main reason why our corn export business is so slow. We're not competitive. As we drop down to beans, you can see beans out of the Gulf are still offered 20 cents cheaper than Brazil beans. That stays that way through December and January. When you get to February, though, you're looking at Brazilian beans around 50 to 75 cents a bushel cheaper when their new crop arrives. That export demand then will shift down south. As we get to soft red winter wheat in here, um, you know, with this big break in Chicago wheat, you know, we've got U.S. wheat prices, soft red winter wheat competitive with French soft red, red winter wheat on the world market right now. We haven't seen that in a while. That can offer some support. Keep in mind, though, when you look at the world's cheapest wheat, I mean, you've got Ukraine wheat and Russian wheat that are offered more than a dollar a bushel cheaper than both French wheat and, and U.S. wheat. So this is where the cash markets are sitting at here in the U.S., and some of our competitors. Now let's look at some futures prices. Here's Chinese corn futures. And when we go through corn, beans, and wheat, we're just going back to three years. And as you can see, this 2,500 yuan level was the low in 2021. And if you look at right now, we're close to the 2022 high on Chinese corn futures. Now, if we look towards a U.S. chart in here, that $5 mark is our 2021 low. And you can see where the market's sitting at right now, around 670. We're much lower comparative on our U.S. chart compared to where Chinese futures are at. So when we take a step back on this market, if we're comparing U.S. corn futures to Chinese corn futures, you know, we should have U.S. corn futures the $750 to $8 range, not trading $650 to $7. But if we compare U.S. cash corn to Ukraine corn, we probably should have futures trading $5.50 to $6, not $6.50 to $7. You really got two sides to this corn market in here, and that's probably why we're going to stay in this range. Don't get too bearish on breaks, even though our exports are poor because we got a strong domestic market. But on the other hand, if world corn is going to stay offered fairly cheap, we're going to struggle to push much above seven or seven and a quarter on front month corn. Now, when we get over to the bean side of it, here's Chinese bean futures. And you can, as you can see, we're nearing the lowest level in the last two years when I look at Chinese bean futures. Now, when we flip over to U.S. bean futures right now, you can see the low over the last couple of years is down at $12. We're sitting around $14.50 right now. It's the opposite on beans. If we're looking at futures right now compared to China, we're saying U.S. beans are too expensive. If we're looking at the cash market, we're in the cheapest in the world. You know, you've got to be a little more supportive to this market. Our fear on beans, and this is why we want to get cash beans priced out, as we move ahead a couple of months, we're not going to be competitive on the world market. We think bean futures are going to struggle in this front month to push much above $14.75 or $15. Now we get over to the wheat market. Here's EU wheat futures. If we look at the low of 2022, it'd be at 260 a ton. We're more than $60 a ton above that. Now as we get to Chicago wheat futures right now, you can see this recent break is pulling us down to the 2022 lows. We think this should offer support in here when you look at the wheat side of it. Wheat is set up similar to corn when you look at futures. U.S. is a little bit too cheap. On an export market, though, right now, soft red winter wheat's competitive, but our hard red winter wheat is a little bit too high. As we want to wrap things up in here right now, I mean, when we look at world markets, we need to look at both cash and we need to look at futures. We showed here some Chinese corn and soybean futures. You also should look at Chinese soybean meal, EU wheat, Canadian canola, Malaysian palm oil. Those are ones that we want to always take a look at. 
The other thing with this, all this volatility, and especially with the bounce in the crude oil market here to start off the week, we need to remember that outside markets also have a, a big influence on our grain prices. We brought you the, today's report in here right now, or today's webinar, as we think it's important to look at both sides of the market. As you can see with corn, beans, and wheat, we can give you both a bullish and a bearish argument in here what's going on, and it's important to recognize both sides. If you have anything uh, you'd like to see on an upcoming webinar, you know, please drop us an email. Have a great day.